Normally, the museum uh, this time of year is full to the brim with student artwork, uh, kids from K through 12, uh, from many, many schools in the area. And for obvious reasons, we couldn't do anything like that this year. But we didn't want to miss out on the opportunity. And uh, I had been reading about uh, some arts institutions in other parts of the country that were letting students curate uh, exhibitions themselves. And I thought, this is wonderful because our entire permanent collection is online. So students would be able to view these uh, items from the comfort of their home and come up with a theme. Um, so students were given uh, open access to the entire collection. And we kind of sat down at first and just viewed everything. And students went through on their own time and kind of chose pieces that they documented as being favorites. And then we started to see this great overlap. So the fact that students were finding commonalities in the artwork right away was sparking themes. Uh, looking through all of students' commentary, which was really interesting to me because I'd, I've seen this work, a lot of these works, I don't know, dozens of times on the computer or sometimes in person, but their perspective of it really opened my, my eyes to looking at art in a different perspective. I tried to make it really clear that this did not have to be COVID related. You know, so much of their life was consumed by the pandemic that I, I stress like, obviously this is our life right now, so you can't avoid it. But certainly anything that you were compelled, you know, within this theme or, you know, inspired by the pieces that we looked, they're all a result of how relationships have changed with people or the, the relationships that they are more aware of now that they've had less distractions, you know, they're, they're watching the interaction of people at home. How do their parents interact? How do the grandparents play a role? Relationships with sisters and brothers. And so that was interesting. They really were very perceptive about the people around them and seeing how things maybe really always were, but they weren't aware of it until they were less distracted and had time.